Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Dead Giveaway Show number three. In case you haven't tuned in on the other main channel, we started the Dead Giveaway Show. This is the third episode. Why? Because we're to the point now where all we can say is it's a dead giveaway. We can't even go into detail about some of the things that are happening to us. And why do I say that? Well, the Algo bots are doing their final rounds before they bring this latest and greatest PSYOP to a close. Caught a strike on the main channel. So we will be live streaming here until the middle of next week. Of course, I've appealed it, but we'll see how that goes. Um, now, I'll get into what that strike was about in a minute. But uh, I'm to the point now where I'm tired of talking about CV-19 anyway. So many channels have been lost trying to stand up and have an opinion about this. And YouTube simply calls it misinformation based on your opinion or religious beliefs. Now, I hope that we've all made an impact. But as you guys always like to say, the lines have already been drawn. I just thought that there was maybe a chance that we could reach a few more people. Not that we'll never talk about CV-19 anymore because we actually have a few stories pulled up. But anytime you go outside of their lines, we have to just say dead giveaway. <laughs> right? So we're just going to try to be more careful about what we say. Nobody is immune to this, you guys. No matter how hard you try. YouTube wants to control the narrative. They've been very clear that anything that counters what the official leaders and directors say will be considered misinformation, even in the wake of Ikoff getting all this heat, having his book removed from Amazon, shown to be a liar, even in the wake of that, they are still holding him up as the authority, and you are not allowed to speak against that. Now, the vid that got the strike was on a, it was about the Catholic Church giving moral permission to get the J.J. Walker sticker, despite a peculiar ingredient. We all know what that ingredient is. So that's what the strike was for. Again, I appealed it on Religious Freedom Act and all this other stuff, but I don't have much hope for this one. So what did I do? I went through the main channel and I removed a lot of my videos to protect the channel from another strike. I think I took down like 50 videos. But all of it is backed up here on Odyssey. Here's Odyssey. Here's my channel on Odyssey. It's Enter the Stars. It's only got about 500 followers so far, which is pretty good. But every single one of my videos is copied over here. Cool thing about this, you do not have to sit through any ads. Now, you don't have to sit through ads anyway on YouTube if you have the Brave browser, but if you don't have the Brave browser and you're still getting ads popping up on YouTube, just come over to Odyssey and watch it over here. And everything is backed up. So if you go to watch some of my videos on the main channel and it says that the user has taken this video down, just come to Odyssey and you'll find the video here. Now, we're approaching 10 years on YouTube. On, this, on the other channel, the main channel. That was the first channel I started. I think the start date was 2011. And at this point, you just, know how, you just have to know how to adjust to these sweeps that come through. Every year or two years, they come through and YouTube sweeps everybody, right? And you have to figure out a way to stay alive. And I've, I've learned not to get too attached to my videos like I used to. I used to have like a, a you know, 500,000 view video and I'd get attached to it and not want to take it down, you know? And that's probably a little bit of ego peeking through there, you know? But you have to be able to walk away. And I've learned when to let go. And I, I figured that, look, most people have already seen the video. The people that need to see it have already seen it. The message has already been delivered. And so it's time to let go rather than risk 
the entire voice of the channel, which is what YouTube wants. They play on their ego. They go, oh, they're not going to take down all their videos, all that hard work. Well, now we've got it backed up. So there's no, there's no more hard choice to make, right? But I, I feel like the channel's safe for now. Like I said, I removed lots of videos. So we're going to be camping out here on the backup channel for the next week, unless the appeal goes through, and then we'll be back on the other channel. But pass on the information as you if you can. We are on Enter the Stars Unstoppable. And we have a full schedule. I have a show scheduled Sunday, Monday, and I think Tuesday of next week. So let's get into this. I pulled up the headlines this morning. And of course, the powers that be are trying to muddy the waters about these UFOs. They love this takeaway thing. They'll give you a little, then they'll take it away. And now they're saying that there is no evidence that the mystery UFOs are alien spacecraft. You know, I mean, what? what? They just come up with these arbitrary studies that they've done. Nobody sees the study. They just say they've done a study. And we're all supposed to believe it. Let's read this. Now, we've all seen this new information right? These spacecraft. And it's interesting because we talked about alien disclosure. We know what the aliens are. Well, we were talking about this. We, we even called it out that 2020 was, was going to be the year of alien disclosure. We were talking about that in like 2017. Why? Because I believe God revealed that to us that they were going to come at us with the alien deception. And they sure enough, they did. Now, here they say there is no evidence that unexplained aerial phenomenon spotted in recent years by U.S. military personnel or aliens. An upcoming government report quoted by the New York Times Thursday said. Who writes this stuff? It's probably a better way they could have wrote, written that. <laughs> Look at me. I'm not even using the proper grammar. <laughs> a better way they could have written that first sentence. But officials still can't explain the mysterious aircraft. Well, if you can't explain it, then it's an unexplained flying object. The newspaper, which cited senior administrative officials briefed on the findings of the highly anticipated report, said they were able to confirm the unusual vessels were not the product of secret Pentagon technology. But the review of more than 120 incidents over the past two decades was unable to explain the mysterious movements of the craft which include unusual acceleration, direction changes, and the ability to rapidly submerge. And while senior officials told the Times the lack of clear findings means that while there's no evidence of alien technology behind the phenomenon, it's also impossible to rule out. So they're just muddying the waters. Now look at this. The report is expected to release on June 25th. Now, this is an interesting date. This is the date that Michael Jackson died. This is also the date that iPad Go 2 came out. This is 88 days after the 88th day of the year, June 25th. That's an occult day. So, something's going on with this. So, we'll, you know, we'll keep you guys posted on this. We don't do a lot of coverage on aliens and UFOs and all that on this channel. But uh, we're going to see how they try to work this because, believe me, all this blue beam and they're going to be starting to try to deceive people. Okay, it's coming. We're getting very, very close to the end. Now, this next story. This is why sometimes if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Now, I'm going to click on this picture and I'm going to click away. Because the arm was a psyop to further marginalize people who refuse the fake scene. Now you do realize that every time that uh, they pull one of these stunts, it makes it harder and harder for people on the fence to stand strong and stand alone about getting the sticker. They're not taken seriously. And I was shocked at how many channels took the bait. Now here's one really easy way to fake something like this. One of you guys sent this to me. You take a very strong one and you put it on the underside of your arm and you hide it. Now I'm going to click off of this. And that's how you can fake something like this. And there's about a dozen other ways to fake something like this. 
Now that video was from a channel called SIMUN2020 who did it on video. And I'm ob obviously not going to show you the video because they're going through and taking down channels left and right for even showing or sharing this stuff. But he took a strong man gate, we're going to call it, and under his arm and it attracted a smaller one. And you could not see the large man gate. And when someone sent this to me in the, in the beginning, I thought, well, I've already seen a hundred of these videos. But then I saw the deception was revealed. Now, how else could you fake something like this? Well, they have magnetic clear eyeliner would do the trick. Or you know what? Just a heavy dose of lotion or Vaseline on the arm. Okay, sticking a man gate to your arm is a lot different than trying to get it to stick, which is what I saw in almost every video. People trying to get it to stick. If there's a true flagnetic pull, you won't have to fuss with it to make it stay. Anyway, so why why did I stand strong against that psyop? Well, we now have the roasting ritual, which now knocks our progress back years. Started with Kimmel and now the director. And so, a couple of you said, oh, you're going to listen just because Kimmel makes fun of He makes fun of everybody. That was just the beginning. Of course, I don't hold Kimmel in any high regard whatsoever. He's part of the... He's part of the machine to discredit this stuff. Now, by the end of this, uh, you're going to understand what really happened here. Okay, because I'm going to prove it to you. Now, what made things worse is everybody who believed this went out and tried to stick man gates on all their friends and family's arms who got the sticker, making us look even more dangerous and crazy. Now, if you're mad at me because you feel like your family or you got one to stick, ask yourself, did it really stick? And ask yourself this question, and here's the proof. Why isn't the director roasting all the other claims that we know are true? Like clud blots, seizures, rashes, cycles, She isn't talking about that. She isn't trying to discredit that. She jumped right on this one. And look at her words. I'm embarrassed to even have to report on this. It was a honey trap. Now, we know these people are wicked. But know that they're always setting these traps. And we know that they're not sloppy. Yes, they have combined luciferase with metals for diagnostic imaging applications. We know that. But that does not mean that the luciferase that's in the VC has metal in it. At least they don't concede that or tell us that the luciferase that's in the VC has metal in it. Do you think they would really be sloppy enough to be proven liars after the fact by some curious nurse who decided to try to stick a man gate up to a vial to find out if it sticks? Do you think that they would really leave that low-hanging fruit for us? And that would be really all it would take. One curious nurse with a man gate to stick it up to a vial. That would be all it takes. They wouldn't be that sloppy, you guys. That's not how these people work. But would they hoax us so that they could later sneak it in at some future point in history? And then nobody would believe the whistleblowers at that point because they'll all remember the hoax. Of course they would try something like that. Now, there is another video circulating that I am hoping it's not another honey trap. We will see the X Factor winner. Remember that? And this came out about a month ago. And it was basically a summary video covering 
a lot of the Freemason stuff that a lot of other channels have been covering for years. In fact, it reminds me of a lot of the work that Call for an Uprising does. He's covered all in high, high detail, all this Freemason stuff. So this wasn't new information. What concerns me is that select channels are being allowed to keep this X Factor winners video up. It's like a five hour long video and all the rest of the channels are getting terminated and their videos deleted. And many of you know this, you've seen it. You've gone on to some of these uh, blogs that have linked the five hour video and it says video removed, right? While others, other channels have the video up and it has been up for a whole month. So it makes you wonder. The information seems accurate, but understand that the enemy uses cancel culture to cancel out voices. This is what he does. And now they're calling this bullying and singling out groups. When you start mentioning these groups like the Freemasons, because they're classified under a like a religion. And the same is going to apply eventually to Satanism. They're going to start saying the same thing eventually. They're going to say, those that's those people's beliefs. You can't speak out against them. You can't make these claims about them. You know, even though the mainstream doesn't think twice about roasting whatever group they want to roast. Now, the Freemasons, even though we know they are the source, have now fallen under these protected groups. They masquerade as like a legitimate group doing good things. So the media will never reveal the roots of how they rule the world and the awful things they do. So when you repeat these claims, it's a slam dunk algo takedown for Hyatt speech, we have to call it. And nobody is coming to your rescue. Once your voice is gone, it's gone. That's why we have to be sly. That's why, you know, we all know who runs Hollywood. But you don't hear me sitting around dwelling on it and focusing on it on every video because that's what they want you to do. That way they can take you down. But we drop hints here and there all over the place. We use coded language like the juice club. But to go on a Hyatt-filled tirade, that falls right into their trap. That's what they want. And this is why... On this channel, we go straight to the top. We know who's responsible for all this. The devil himself. He is the influence. The Bible says this. To him is ascribed all the sin. And hopefully we don't get to the point in history where, where people try to defend the devil. Oh, you can't say that about the devil. That's Hyatt speech. Now let's get into the rest of these stories. Thanks everybody for joining if you have a second pop back over to the other chat and let everybody know we're here before we get into the rest of the stories looks like about half of you are here but it's a friday friday are usually light days anyway so what's going on in this next story Boop. there we go oh we already did that one look at this now, this is actually one of the screenshots from that X Factor winner video. And you guys have probably seen this before. Mickey. And look, when you look at the reflection in the water, it says wicked. So this is just an example of some of the stuff in that five hour video. Um, you know, the guy talks about giving your life to Jesus. He, he talks about the gospel. There was I didn't see really anything wrong with the video per se. He said he used to be in the Freemasons. He was wearing black and white, which was a little bit weird. And he was wearing a cross, which most most of us a little bit more advanced Christians understand that that's an idol. And Jesus probably doesn't want us wearing a cross. But new Christians, that's, that's not always the case. So I don't know if we can judge him on that, but you'll just have to judge for yourself. So... Here is why we need a truth community. Because all these years, 
You thought you needed to protect yourself from the sun that God put in the sky to warm your skin. Well, now that lack of faith in the order of God's kingdom is causing the thing that people feared the most. Inside of sunscreen. Let's read this. It says known carcinogen found in some popular sunscreens. Tests show traces of a chemical tied to that, including this, have been detected in dozens of popular sunscreens and after sun products, according to tests conducted by online pharmacy and lab. Now, had you said this three years ago, uh, YouTube might have taken you down for medical misinformation, right? But now all of a sudden they're disclosing it. This is why you need a truth community because they're not the authority on anything. They don't know everything. Benzene, a known carcinogen, was found in 78 of 300 sprays. You had a one in four chance, one in three to one in four chance, 25% chance of your favorite sunscreen including this benzene which now they are saying has led to people getting skin carcinomas so youtube why are we trusting in these so-called authorities on these things when they're wrong a lot of the time why are i thought this was youtube I thought this was people doing investigation and research into things. Okay. Now, let's go on to this next article. And this is interesting because this is an example of how the mainstream tries to tie into the crispy spiracy theories. They know there's some truth to them and they want to capitalize on that. Because they know a lot of people are interested in crispy spiracy theories. <laughs> but this article is crazy because when you read between the lines, I found something pretty unreal. So they're, what they're claiming in this article is that this 1800s painting is depicting a woman holding an iPhone. Now, what is this painting? Let's let's first zoom in on this claim that this woman is in this 1800s photo is holding an iPhone. That's about as much as we can zoom it in. And they're saying that's an iPhone. Wow. Now, what is the painting? Well, this painting is called The Expected One. Can anybody say Antichrist? Now, if you don't believe me, I looked into this painting called The Expected One. And this is going to blow you away. This painting, The Expected One, was held in the Bavarian collection. You know, like a uh, Bavarian I loon the naughties here it is right here now if you still don't believe me understand that the artist Waldmuller was Hitler's favorite painting his favorite painter why would they run an article like that? Now, the plot thickens. Because this woman was born on 322. 1963, her name was Kathleen McGowan. She claimed to be a descendant of Jesus himself. Can anybody say Antichrist? And she wrote a novel by the same name. It was called The Expected One. So, 
what's really going on with this little news story. It's, it really bugs me that none of these stories allow you to leave comments. And they're just feeding us information that they expect everyone to believe. What's really going on with this painting? What are they really saying Is this really an Apple iPhone in the painting? If it is, it's because the Antichrist who gave us the iPhone rotten Apple technology was trying to create godlike awe. Now let's get into this next story. Remember all the videos we did on Dump's Post Office Hotel? Remember that? Remember we showed you the inside? It looked like the Sphinx. Full of checkerboard floors. He dedicated it. And christened it. On Hillary's birthday. And we surmise that the. That this purchase. Of this hotel. And post office. Was symbolic. Of the covert post office domestic spying program. That took place. Halfway through his presidency. Well. Now it seems like he wants to sell it up for lease again now understand these people they're masons so what they do is these buildings mean something they all have symbolism to them they carry energy that dovetails in with the agenda that they are putting forward we now have a post office that is covertly spying on people and so he of course is selling it let's read a little bit of this article it pretty much speaks for itself his company has again hired a broker to sell the lease. It's DC Hotel, according to two people familiar with discussions. Second attempt to unload the property after the spam pandemic thwarted a previous effort. They listed the Pennsylvania Avenue Hotel in the federal owned old post office pavilion in the fall of 2019. Many hotels closed per, uh, completely or partially due to the lockdowns. And the company pulled the property off the market. Now, with T-Man under investigation, his office is trying again. There's a big roasting going on, isn't there? I'm wondering why they're doing this. Why are they coming after T and Ikoff and Gates and Cuomo? Why are they coming after these people? What are they setting this up for? What's going to happen? I, you know, I wondered. Because at first I thought, oh, maybe they're setting this up for the T-Man to come back. But no, they're roasting him too. I think they're trying to make us all feel better about what's about to happen. What's about to come is what they're doing. That's what I believe is going to happen. The effects of everything that they forced us to do are going to come home to roost. Now... The shame game continues. It's now your fault that we won't have a summer. The unfakinated. Bo Jivin may hit the July 4th fake in the nation goal, but millions of unfakinated Americans will keep CV alive this summer. So, it's all our fault. We're the ones... You know, you know they, they talk about incendiary speech against groups and how uh, it can lead to violence. But look what they've done to us. Every day they're parading out these articles to make the mainstream hate people like us. I have a neighbor and I just, I just laugh at him. He comes out and goes, yeah, those, he thinks and I'm on his side. Because I actually talked to him despite the fact that he leans the other direction, if you know what I mean. I don't judge people. But he thinks that I'm on the left. Because I can say good morning and hello. And of course I'm not. But then that becomes an open door for him to roast all of us unfakinated people. I just laugh at him. I go, wow, okay. that's what, So that's what everybody thinks right now, huh? You're a cross section of what of a result of the media parading out these stories every single day and making people like you hate people like us. Wow, is all I can say. 
So that's what's going on. I'm sure a lot of you have experienced this as well. You know what I'm talking about. Now, let's get to this next story. This is funny. Oh, it can't be that people just don't want it, can it? I mean, we're offering them all this free stuff. Lotteries, food, VIP entrances into places. Oh, it must be because they think the fake scene will cost them money. Seriously? So, here's their information campaign. Hey, if you thought it cost you money and that's the reason why you're not getting it. No. So now everybody go get it. The COVID, the VC is free, but not everyone believes that. When Paul Moser <laughs> considers getting a VC, he also thinks about his outstanding medical debt. $1,200 from a few urology visits that he's been unable to pay off. Moser, a 52-year-old gas station cashier in New York State, has friends who were surprised by bills for CV tests and worries the same could happen with the VC. For now, he's holding off on getting it. Uh, weren't the tests supposed to be free too? I don't know. I'm asking a question, YouTube. I don't know if the tests were supposed to be free, but I thought that that's what we were told. It's a question. We were told by the legislators that all the testing was supposed to be free. And then, surprise, $150. Congress passed laws barring pharmacies and hospitals from billing patients for the VC. Wow. Dead giveaway. Now, what's this next story? We're almost done here, you guys. I'll hang out with you guys in the chat for a bit because after we're done with these stories. Now, what has me concerned about this next story is that they keep bringing this up. Now, only a handful of states that not many people travel to, except for Florida, have banned the fake scene passports, right? And that sounds like good news, but what about all the other states? Because to me, that means that the ones that haven't banned it, they're going to start enforcing it. We know that New York is pushing forward with them. Causing a lot of people who were on the fence to finally give in just so they could go back to a normal life. Now we know that they like to test these things in New York and California before they roll it out to the rest of us. And so the writing is on the wall with more than half of Americans having received at least one so-called passports for the fully fake-thenated remain a political flashpoint among conservatives and others who believe they would violate privacy concerns. But recent national polling, they always resort to this recent national polling or studies suggested that country is warming to the idea the uh, new york the first state to introduce a formal bc passport program oh i'm staying far away from there in practice however there have been clashes particularly in college campuses i wouldn't expect that just this week indiana university had to dial back a policy that required proof of the fake and needed from the teachers and students after receiving blowback from state officials so, this is coming. They're talking about it. They're ramping up for it. Sticker passports. Get your happy face sticker. So you can live your life again. So, what's what else? What else do we have here? And now, the new meme is that you still are not safe at work. Even if you get the fake scene they're now trying to fear store workers who are still wearing masks and some of them got the sticker already and some didn't. They're saying that they can carry it home to their families and that there's still a small chance they can get it. This article tries to depict the horror of these people looking at all these unmasked people walking through their stores. I mean, this is crazy. 
for many workers, change in the policy is a nightmare. The Kroger supermarket in Virginia is in a county where mask wearing can be casual at best. Yet for months, they store urged patrons to cover their noses and mouths. And almost everybody complied. Well, you don't have a choice. Well, they didn't just urge patrons. Lots of times they tell you you can't come in their store. People don't like to wear a mask here. Well, I don't think anybody really likes to. But very few people would go without it. Uh, yeah, we pretty much got forced to do it. That changed in mid-May after the these people advised the vacinated Americans that they should they could could go maskless in most indoor settings. The next week, the store told employees that they could no longer ask customers to cover their faces. Remember, this guidance came from a man who is currently being discredited about lying about the origins, lying about masks, lying about all these things. And they're still, this is their go-to person and their go-to authority for claiming misinformation. This is unbelievable. We're literally living in the twilight zone. This lady says she feels like a sitting duck. Far fewer than half the patrons wore masks on this recent Sunday. How dare you? Now it's just a free-for-all. I don't even recognize this country anymore, you guys. If this story is true, we don't even know if it's true. This could be all made up. Who knows? So, in here they say they can carry it home to their families and there's still a chance they can get it. And these store workers are freaking out. Now, here's our last story of the morning. Should probably make sure we're connected first. Never know what's going to trip the Al Gore's rhythms. Okay, here's our last story. They're setting things up for more grid control with this looming threat of cyber attacks. Now, I fully believe, this is my personal opinion, that these attacks are originating from our own government. This is what I believe. And I believe this is a precursor and conditioning for future covert actions to control sectors of our country who do not comply. I believe they have a whole arsenal of options in terms of turning things off. This is why they want everything electric. You guys, Satan is the one that rides the lightning. He controls it. And through the lightning... He controls us. They don't want any more natural gas. They don't want any more heating oil. They don't want any more alternative forms of energy. They're under the guise of global warming. They're condemning all those other versions of en energy. They want us all on an electrical grid that can be turned on and turned off. They can turn off information through the electrical grid. They can turn off the sharing of information through the electrical grid. They can turn off your ability to be mobile and move about. They can do whatever they want. Now they're trying to tie in crypto and blaming that for these cyber attacks as well. And crypto is now coming under scrutiny. Now I knew that was going to happen. So these people like to do. They like to build something and take it down. This is why I never really got onto these other platforms very much. Because many of you know that these platforms exist for maybe a year or two. And then you go to click on the site and either they'll say it's a suspicious site or they'll shut it down. They have ultimate control over the internet. So the best way to stay re relevant and current and try to get the message out to as many people as possible is to stay on the major platforms. So this is where we're at, you guys. Dead giveaway show. Glad many of you made it. It looks like three quarters of you made it over here to the backup channel. Again, if you're just tuning in, we will be here for the next several days. We're on timeout. We got our hands slapped. We got our nose stuck in the corner by YouTube because we reported on a Yahoo news story 
about the Vatican Church giving moral authority for people to get the JJ sticker despite a peculiar ingredient. That's what we got our hand slapped for. So now you know. All right. My guess is they're going to come after G Wiz next. 5G Wiz. That's probably who they're going to come after next because that's who I cop the covert post office spy, domestic spy group, uh, noted in their surveillance. They were looking for people talking about that. So I'm, I'm assuming that's who they're going to come after next. All right. What else do we have here? Let's do a little Q&A. You guys got anything you want to talk about? Yes, this is a great time to be alive. I believe we're in the end times. All right. Huh. Okay, so Texas is is uh, voting on their VC passports. So um, subscribers just ask for people to call Abbott and and uh, you know give your opinion. So that's great. Okay. So we'll see you guys on here tomorrow. Uh, what are we doing tomorrow? Well. I think we're going to be talking about The Wizard of Oz. I think. There's a peculiar scene in The Wizard of Oz, the very classic one. Oh, Heather has a question. Okay, Heather, what's up? Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll talk about the scene in Wizard of Oz where Dorothy is standing between these two trees. I believe that was a Christ mockery ritual. Dorothy wears the blue and the red, the very same colors that came out of Jesus' side when it was pierced. Her shoes were red. Her dress was blue water and blood so we're going to break that down what that scene meant the narrow gate the portal which is the tornado she came in on the twisted reality crazy stuff everything is christ mockery all of it when do the so-called aliens come into play I, I don't think any person knows that it's kind of happening now but it will intensify. They have to like condition everybody for it. They have to slowly do it through gradualism. I believe that they're going to become mandatory too. Swale. I think you're absolutely right. Uh, they just have to slowly ramp up to that too. They can't just do it. Because there's a lot of people that still oppose it. About half. Half of America still opposes it. Oh, tomorrow's Saturday. No, we're going to be on here Sunday. Sorry. Thanks, Marcus Way. Not tomorrow. We're going to be live Sunday. So if you show up here tomorrow, we're not going to be here. But uh, Sunday, probably. I might push that back to Monday. So if you don't see me on the weekend, um, we will definitely be back on Monday. So. Yes, don't trust the aliens. This is all deception, in my opinion. These are demons, demonic entities, spirits, um, and this is all setting it up for the false Christ to return, blue beam, and all that. The Bible says, if they say go here or there to see Jesus, that's not the real Jesus. You shouldn't have to go anywhere to see him. He will be visible to all of us. And there's a couple other uh, qualifiers for the true return of Jesus. But we have to see an Antichrist first. So if you just. If this the first thing we see is what they claim to be Jesus. And the Antichrist hasn't come yet. Then you know it's the Antichrist right? So. Jesus is king. Absolutely Susie. 100% demons. Okay. All right, you guys, looks like we survived this episode of the Dead Giveaway. Uh, I'll see you guys on Monday. I love each and every one of you. Thanks for hanging in there. Have a great weekend. Try to get out, get some exercise, pray daily. You don't always have to get down on your knees. God knows your submissive heart. But just talk to him. 
It's not always a formal hands together, get on your knees thing with him. You're talking to him in your mind all the time, praying incessantly, constant communication. God, when is this going to end? When are you going to come? When is your kingdom going to come? Thank you for your son's sacrifice. How can I be a better human being? How can I not be deceived? These are the things that you should be talking to him about. You pray for healing. Pray for love in your life. A lot of things you can pray for. It's that easy. It's not hard. You just have to do it. Hugs to everybody. Have a great weekend.